Hi, I'm Dory. Well, I probably should tell you, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Unless I've already told you that. Hmm. Wow, I am so glad you're here, because if I got a story for you... Wait, do I have a story for you? Yes, yes I do! It's a story about me, and my friends, oh, and my family! Are you ready? Woohoo, let's go! Uh, quick question, what's that big thing with the wiggly parts? Of course! Duh. Also, what's the floppy doodad that kind of looks like it's got an attitude? Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? No. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, right! It all started one morning when I was on my way to meet Mr. Ray in his class. bumped right into a huge bouncy ball. Phew, that was a close one. That is not how it happened. Well, why don't you try again? No, I'm kidding. Don't worry. Let me go back a bit. Ha! I knew I was almost there when I saw Nemo playing with somebody new. A friendly ice cream cone. <laughs> and then I found Mr. Ray, just in time for class. around because Mr. Ray needed help. All his students had disappeared. What? When did this happen? Oh, hi Marlin. This is Marlin. He's my friend. And he looks like, well, I mean, you can see him right here. Dory, when did the whole class disappear? Well, well listen, I'm telling you. A a and you. Wait, I forget. What's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits. Right! Oh, and what do you call that noisy thingamajobber? I'm thinking it's a little squishy. Wow, good thing you're here. Both of those will be important in a moment. Anyway, since I was the teacher's assistant that day, I told Mr. Ray I'd find all six of his missing students. Oh, Dory, come on now. Yes, that's exactly what I said. 
Come on now. Let's find those kids. Oh. Saved him from a dangerous exploding Dory! cheeseburger. Dory, 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 that did not happen. I would have heard about it. What's important is that I was a great teacher's assistant, right? Right, but you said. Right. was the day of the great stingray migration. Mr. Ray took the whole class to the edge of the reef to see it. Field trip! Oh, uh, hang on. What's the thing with the lumps? It makes that noise, you know. That's the one! And while we're at it, what do you call the thingamajig? You know, it's round, it kind of tickles. <laughs> Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? No. Hmm. Where was I? Oh, right. I love field trips, but I knew I had to keep up with Mr. Ray or I'd forget where I was going. Oh! Migration, migration, let's learn about migration. It's nature's inspiration to move around the sea. I had to stop for a moment when I heard the beat of this hypnotic rubber ducky. Can't be right. Just try to remember. Got to 
the edge of the reef. And wow, the stingray migration was incredible! Until he got hit by a speeding jack-in-the-box. <sighs> Are you sure it wasn't a stingray that hit you? Nope. But whatever happened, it actually turned out to be a good thing. What? In what way was that possibly a good thing? Because it helped me remember my family! Bay, California. Yes! Then then Crush took Marlin, Nemo, and me on a really fast current. Whee! All the way there. Oh, well, hang on. What's that thing? It's bright and shiny, and you always wish there was about a hundred of them. Of course! Duh. Also, there's a dilly bob, and it makes this noise that, whoa, it's always way louder than you'd expect. Wow, good thing you're here. Both of those will be important in a moment. I remembered this place from when I was a kid. Someone here had to know my parents. I figured if I could find six crabs, at least one of them would know where my family was. That's one. was a really good hider, but I found him under this cute little fire truck. was he hard to find? Probably because he made a home out of a really fashionable tambourine. The next thing I knew, we woke up... Hmm. I want to say it was someone named Gary. It was a giant squid. Oh, yes! A giant squid! Named Gary! No! No Gary! There was no time for naming. Oh, right! Because Gary was chasing us!
remember much, but I definitely remember we had to get away from Gary. Wait, I forget. What do you call that fuzzy thing that makes your eyes go all googly? Right! Oh, and what's that thing about Bob? It's totally adorable, but kind of itchy. Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? Now, hmm, where was I? Oh, right! As quickly as we could, we split up and swam. The currents move fast, so we try to use those. me. I zipped by a passing trophy. Then another, and another, a whole herd of them. Thankfully, they stopped Gary right in his tracks. A whole herd of them? Dory, no, that's ridiculous. See, there were these shipping containers. A whole herd of shipping containers? Now who's being ridiculous? Oh... Was I happy that squid was gone? But Nemo was really scared after the chase, and I just felt, well, I wanted to find help. Oh, uh, hang on. What's that shiny thing? You never expected to be there, and then, whoa! <laughs> there it is. Of course! Duh. Also, what's the whirly whiz that spins around and gets you all confused? How could I forget? Just make sure you don't forget about him, okay? Anyway. I decided to look for help in the kelp forest, but I had to find my way through. Oops, sorry. Oh. That is not how it happened. Well, why don't you try again? Usually, I love a bouncy alarm clock, but getting through a dozen of them, man, that was tricky.
Oh, wait. That's not right. I guess I got a little carried away there. story. The Jewel of? The Jewel of Morro Bay, California. We were there! Yeah! Okay, the downside was I got caught by people from the Marine Life Institute. They put me in quarantine. But hey, big upside, I was closer to finding my parents! Uh, quick question. What's that thing? It's never the first thing you think of. It's, you know, the other thing. Of course! Duh. Also, I'm thinking of a, well, it's kind of heavy, but, you know, still floaty. How could I forget? Just make sure you don't forget about him, okay? Anyway. Now, I just had to get out of quarantine. And since I was stuck in a tank, I had to look above water for help. dance into a catchy soccer ball. You know what that means. Dance break. one final boost from a super helpful barbell. There you are! Name's Hank. And that's how I met Hank. He's a septopus. Uh, Dory, that's not exactly how you told it to me before. Really? Well, close enough.
Jake's great. He helped me get around the Institute. But we took a wrong turn and got thrown into a kitty touch pool. Oh, well, hang on. What's the thing with the lumps? It makes that noise, you know. That's the one. And while we're at it, what's that cuddly thing? You know, the one with all the pokey bits. Yeah, keep an eye out for both of those, okay? Now, hmm, where was I? Oh, right. I was definitely not a fan of getting poked, but for Hank, the kiddie pool was a nightmare. I had to get us both out of there. Dory, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Ah. oh wait, that's not right. <laughs> Guess I got a little carried away there. Sure ran into that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Hank tried to hide behind a safe looking alarm clock, but that didn't turn out so well. dodging hands that we didn't notice the falling banana cream pie. Oops! Ah, damn it. Sorry. But it all worked out. Hank's ink made the kids run away and we escaped. incident, we found out all the blue tanks, including my parents, were in quarantine. What about the open ocean exhibit, Dory? You left that out. Oh, okay. Well, uh, the open ocean exhibit is a very nice place to visit. Highly recommended. <sighs> uh, quick question. What's that thing? It's bright and shiny and you always wish there was about a hundred of them. Really? Okay. One more thing. What's the floppy doodad that kind of looks like it's got an attitude? Great! Those will come up soon. Okay, here we go. The only way to quarantine was through this maze of pipes, and I'm, well, I'm not great at mazes. But my friends Destiny and Bailey helped me find the way. If I got lost in the pipes, I could yell to Bailey and he'd help me. Sure ran into that. 
no, Dory, that can't be right. Just try to remember. Still, though, gross. circles because I'm pretty sure I already passed that frying pan but then I saw Marlin and Nemo tell you, quarantine was one busy place, and the tank of blue tangs was way at the end. Wait, I forget. I'm thinking of a, well, it's kind of heavy, but, you know, still floaty. Really? Okay. One more thing. What do you call that noisy thingamajobber? I'm thinking it's a little squishy. Yeah! Keep an eye out for both of those, okay? No. Hmm. Was I? Oh, right. I had to get to the end and find my parents. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I in the air? In this one tank, I got an extra bounce from a springy snowman. Well, I mean, not just one, but a whole school of them. Dory, you, Dory, you just said the tank was full of blue tangs. Well, sure, them too. The point is, my parents had to be there somewhere.
left, it turns out my parents weren't in the tank. They were, well, they were gone. It's, oh, oh, it's, it's okay, Dory. Now remember, we were there. Until Nemo and I got put on a truck going to Cleveland. Right. Cleveland. And I... Ah, ah, I went down the drain! Uh, quick question. There's a dealy bob, and it makes this noise that... Whoa! It's always way louder than you'd expect. That's the one! And while we're at it, what's that thing? It's never the first thing you think of. It's, you know, the other thing. could I forget? Just make sure you don't forget about him, okay? Anyway. I was flying through the pipes straight out to the ocean. Yep, I sure ran into that. Defenseless ambulance. Then I had another. Then another. Boy, I really clever that one. Sorry, my bad. Busted up at party hosted by a nice soccer ball. Happens all the time. Dory, there is just no way you found a party in those pipes. Well, I didn't find it on purpose, that's for sure. And then, the pipes spit me onto the ocean. Ah, 